What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B, and you're watching Dave B on TV, where we go beyond that everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And first off, man, thank y'all for the love, man. I'm glad y'all fuck with my mixtape and shit like that. Yo, this shit, I mean, I had so much fun making this uh this project, like real shit. Like this, 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 this was my opportunity to kind of just do something different and shit like that. Like the the soul packs, like Artists always talk about that first debut project that they put out and shit like that. And, like, you know, that first project is just a collection of all the... Th it's like you try to make that one project everything, you know what I'm saying? And so you put... You, you've been thinking about it for so long, so it becomes this... It's like almost this rigid... Uh, it's just a very dense... It becomes a very dense experience because you're just putting everything that you've been waiting and retaining for so long, you put that all in one tape and try to be like, yeah, cool, you know what I'm saying, and I'm, I'm very proud of that one, but this one was like a lot more relaxed, and I got to kind of just soak into, you know, okay, I do this shit, like, you know what I'm saying, so I, I, I appreciate everyone for checking it out, and if you haven't yet, you can find it, uh, I got my link in my uh, Instagram bio, or it's on my Twitter bio too, so, but basically, you can find it on SoundCloud, Audio Mac, Bandcamp, and YouTube, you know what I'm saying, and so, um, all the links are in my bio, but, um, that's not what this video is about, this video is about, uh, happiness, right, because, like, I said, like, like, so, so, I've been experiencing, you know, great joy and happiness and stuff like that, but see, here's the thing, right, when we experience, uh, joy and happiness, um, it, it's, it's kind of like this, this game you have to play, right, because you have to understand that in this world, you know, things get, it's, it's like everything kind of ends up being in balance in some way. So when you have a great excitement, if you embellish in that excitement for too long, it can bring you down and you experience an equally low, low, like a very low, low. Right. So it's like, and so the trick is you have to kind of learn how to create equilibrium within yourself without allowing certain, like, it's, okay, here's the key, right, the key, the whole point is just don't attach your happiness or your excitement to anything physical or anything outside of you, because see, here's the thing about emotions and feelings on a general level, we know that we create these things, we create our thoughts and feelings, so when you create your thoughts and feelings, this is you generating your own force, when you create a feeling, like, just say you wake up, and you choose, it's like, you. it's a choice to be happy, it's a choice, like, that's why, like, when it comes to people with depression, like, look, I, I, I'm not a, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a degree in, in psychology and all that shit, but I know, I know a great deal about how people work, but, you know, so when it comes to, like, the clinical diagnosis of, uh, uh, I, I think I said that word wrong, but the, the, the clinical, you know, description for depression and, and, and actually diagnosis somebody with depression, um, I tend to get weary. I mean, because on one end, I don't, I, I didn't, I didn't get my degrees in that world. But on a spiritual end, I, I know how the mind works and how people kind of can end up in that in that spiritual space where, yeah, they are depressed. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to speak for people who actually are clinically diagnosed with depression and may like, you know, th their feeling and concept of what they have might be completely different than my perception of it. You, f you feel where I'm going? So I don't want to say that depression and shit is not real. But the thing is, is we create these emotions and feelings and we put ourselves into these spaces. But when it comes to, you know, when good things happen in your life, we have a tendency to want to quickly attach that to be the reason we're happy. So it's like, okay, you just got a raise or a bonus at work. I'm happy because I got a raise and a bonus, right? But see what you're doing psychologically is you're attaching your happiness to a certain external outcome. And here's the thing, it's like when we manifest, right? A lot of people want to manifest physical things like money or, you know, financial success or maybe, you know, whatever kind of success. They usually want to manifest something that's external, but when you attach your happiness to that, it becomes a situation where the only way you'll be happy is if you are me are experiencing that. But see, the thing is, manifestation happens way before the physical. Manifestation happens when you plant the seed and the idea, right? And this, the stronger you are able to create your own feelings and emotions, the better you'll be able to control what you manifest in your life. Rather than the, 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 the latter end where you only can experience happiness through a reaction. For instance, you mope around life all day. Because see, it's like the thing is, 
people don't understand that they create their own emotions and feelings. And so they might wake up on a day, right? And, and just be having a natural bad day, right? Based upon alignments, transits, maybe things are angling them in a certain way and influencing them to feel a certain way. Because like what happens is we wake up, right? If the, if the, if the transits ain't really fucking with you, it'll, or depending where the planets that are in general, they'll influence you to want to go to certain desires or they'll influence you to think and see the world and feel about the world, aka the sun and the moon, right? The sun, how we see things and the moon is how we react in the world we're in emotionally because whatever emotional state you're in, that's, we call it an emotional state for a reason. It's like just being in a different state. You in a different state. Sometimes you in New York, somewhere on the high end, somewhere, sometimes you on the low, you in Texas. You know, it's like we're in different places on an emotional level. So once you understand that, you understand that, you know, sometimes like we have to change states, we have to move. And so like, that's the beautiful thing about when you do gain power through your spirituality, you understand that the power you develop is just the power to better manipulate and create better emotions and feelings for yourself in order to manifest things that go into your favor more more often than not. So, but here's the thing, it's like when you attach your happiness to a certain outcome or external thing, it's almost like a drug. You become reliant on that thing. So the only way you're happy if you if you're if you're making a certain amount of money or the only way you're happy is if you're getting a certain kind of recognition. So it's like how you balance yourself is when you whenever you get a rush of happiness and this is not to say you shouldn't be happy when these things happen but when you do say something does happen in your life and you do get a rush of excitement and happiness take a moment right you know celebrate enjoy that moment but after 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 the kind of first high is going take a minute right and then try to find that emotion and separate it from whatever external thing that you created and you can do this in a, a multitude of different ways depending on who you are but how I like to do it is I like to say okay I like to speak kind of like talk to myself and be like you know like it's almost like you know I already had that I already had that thank you you know it's like a mix between you want a, a mix between gratis gratification like uh, not gratification gratitude um it, yeah you know, it's like a mix between having gratitude being satisfied um and feeling confident and feeling like like feeling like i already had it in me it's almost like you have to kind of psych your mind up you know what i'm saying like i said I'm, I'm just explaining how i do it and when i get to that space it's like a mix between feeling content feeling satisfied being proud of myself and then and, and kind of just isolating that feeling um but then looking at it and treating it as if i already had it and then i'm extremely grateful for that experience and I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. It's almost like that's kind of what's going on internally, but I separate it from that external thing so that what happens is when you, when you learn how to separate that, it's like kind of subconsciously you begin to analyze and understand that emotional state. It's almost like you draw an esoteric map to that state so that when it comes time for you to Actually, when you're actually experiencing things in your life, say, say the next day, right? Even if it's a mundane day, like if it's a bad day or if it's just a mundane day where nothing really big is happening, instead of being so, like, see what happens when we attach our happiness or uh, satisfaction to a, an external thing on days like that, it'll be a lot harder for you to be motivated or be excited or be happy about anything because you 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 won't have anything external to associate with that feeling so you 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 it's almost like you give your power away to whatever was making you happy right but when you can when you draw out your esoteric map you don't need no gps so on days like mundane days or days that's just a little harder or even on your good days you'll always know how to get to that emotional state how to travel there and travel there internally so it don't matter what you're experiencing you can always experience that that level my stories be really trying to fuck with me when i'm trying to get that wisdom out but like i was saying you 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 draw up your esoteric map so you become you you don't need no gps you can get to wherever you need to get on an internal level without any external help and see that's what real power is because then that's what what, what it really means to have a wealthy mind or to 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 have that that mental power because it's like it's like a superpower because at that point like i said you, we already know 
things manifest with the feeling and the vibration first. All things come from the vibration first, the feminine energy, the internal realm, the shit we don't see. The reason like and so when you're able to generate great vibes and good feelings and prosperity feelings and, 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 and feelings of, of confidence and feelings of power, feelings of of being proud of yourself. Like when you're able to generate these things on your own, you become it's like it's almost like this is your power because like. You know, when you're building, it's like it's all we're, we're all building these these next bodies for ourselves. We're all building these spaceships to better travel in these emotional states. And, 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 and these emotional states make up the grid of, of life. It's almost like knowing how to ride certain emotional like emo, like because it's almost like the road is like the light. The road is like the, 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 the physical. Sh- it's like it's hard to explain because I'm getting to a space where I'm talking about shit that doesn't actually need words so i'm trying to associate metaphors and things of that nature to tie it in to make it more understandable um but basically it's just like we're building these these we're building our life it's almost like we're building our dreams right i'll use dreams because it's like we're, we're building our dream life and some people build their dream life with a bunch of shit that isn't strong you know what i'm saying and and what i mean by that is that they'll go their whole life and they create thoughts and feelings that it's like a, having a shitty vehicle right on a spiritual level so it's like they're not able to travel to everywhere that other people can like for instance if you only develop let's go back to depression if you only de- develop feelings and emotions of being down on yourself and feeling sad and sorry for yourself or feeling incapable <coughs> or feeling like um, you, you, you're not able to do certain things, you're going to build a vehicle for yourself on a spiritual level that is incapable. It's like uh, having a hoopty. It's like, or a lemon, like you, you can't, you can't go very far. You gotta, you got like, you, you riding on your spare tires. You got three spare tires and shit like that, that you, you trying to ride on, but you trying to get all the way to fucking Arizona from Georgia. It's like, you can't, you can't get that far. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes like we choose to live in states that are far away from positive emotional states. And so it's like, you know, when you, but when you know how to create that esoteric map, right. And you learn how to forge your own materials, aka develop your own thoughts and feelings, you can start developing a better looking vehicle, but not just on the physical. Like, look, it's a better built vehicle. So it's a vehicle that can get you from Georgia to Arizona in 0.2 seconds. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because, it, you know what I'm saying? We, this is still a metaphor. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally, we can get there that fast. You know what I'm saying? But what happens is we're thrown with a lot of different things in our face that kind of make us forget certain things like this. You know what I'm saying? So the whole point of the video was just saying, don't allow, yeah, don't attach your happiness or any feeling and emotion to things that are physical. You know what I'm saying? Like even pain, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to, cause then you, you, it, all you're doing is creating psychological block, blockages and you're associating trauma with stuff that might not have anything to do with the thing that you're traumatized about. So it's like we have to always remember that, you know, the physical experiences happen because of whatever emotional state we're in, but we can control the emotional state. Therefore, we are the creators and not just the creation in in the sense that we don't have to live our life always in reaction to things. We can actually initiate change and initiate the life that we want to experience in real time but you have to be strong enough to get there because like it's not just a a walk in the park like this shit takes practice because we're constantly being influenced by different things and we constantly are going through ups and downs and see but this is also a key on how to manage your ups and downs when you get an extreme excitement to prevent an extreme low you have to bring it to balance and you do that by separating the emotions and feelings from whatever it is that was getting you all giddied up but take a moment to kind of subdue that. It's like, I don't want to tell you to subdue it. You got to do it in your own way, but you, you know, numb it down. Just bring it down a little bit to where you can be level headed and just take a moment to separate the two, create your esoteric map real fast. Like, okay, this emotion and feeling is like this. Hmm. 
Okay, but that's separate. And then it's like you'll start. To, it's like it's going to be hard at first because all of this is internal shit. But once you start doing that, you'll start developing how to actually create feelings and emotions to where like you can just wake up. Yeah, it might be a bad day, but you'll at least be able to develop feelings and thoughts that will allow you to experience that day a lot less harshly than if you were someone who's just mundane and you don't really know how to do this. So you just getting influenced by the world. So you at the will of whatever the world wants you to be on that day. AKA if the world, if you get on, if, if the world wakes up upset, you upset all of a sudden when that's just you giving your power away. You could be the one who'd be like, I don't give a fuck if everyone's upset in the world. I feel lovely and I feel happy and I'm going to shine the brightest. You know what I'm saying? So many of us lose out on opportunities because we just getting influenced by the world when, no, you had a, a, you had a plan today. You know what I'm saying? Or if you didn't have a plan, you should have a plan for your days. You know what I'm saying? You should have some kind of internal plan, goal, or purpose that you're trying to carry out. But so many of us sacrifice that for, you know, the world. But I don't want to get too, too, too lost in, in, in that conversation. We'll talk about that on a, 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 in another time. But, yeah, I just wanted to get that out, that message real quick. Because, um, you know, when we're experiencing a lot of good things, it's like we, so, it, that's a great feeling. You know what I'm saying? We want to experience more prosperity and things to go in our favor than, than the opposite. You know what I'm saying? But in order to do that, you have to be wise enough to separate. Make sure you're not attaching that, that great feeling to anything physical or external because then it becomes you become reliant and then it becomes more of an addiction more of something that you're seeking you think that the only way you can experience happiness is by having that physical thing and i'm gonna tell you now we don't get things things don't happen in our life because we are wanting them or needing them they happen because we deserve them so when you get that feeling you know what i'm saying separate it from whatever it is that you manifested and just appreciate the feeling and say thank you to the feeling and, and, and spend time with the feeling and separate it from whatever is going on externally. Yeah, the, it's, you got to look at it like the external is like a perk. The external life, what we experience here physically is like the perk. Everything that we do internally, that's the prize. The better you can manage that, the better you can take over the world. You know what I'm saying? But not take over the world in a way you being a tyrant, but take over the world in the sense of you have your own power and you can do whatever you want despite what the world is trying to get you to feel like or whatever, not, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah. So now that the tape is out, um, much more videos coming. I got a lot of g good things that I'm working out. So, you know, y'all going to start seeing a lot of, uh, different things from me in the next couple of coming weeks, but I'm just going to keep y'all posted as I do. And, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this thing, man. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Much love and be great. Peace. And I almost forgot this point right right quick because um, what I was talking about manifestations and attaching things, right? Because the thing about manifestation, we it's like manifestations come sometimes in, in ways we don't expect them. So it's like if you would attach your, your happiness and your satisfaction and all your excitement to one physical uh, property, one physical external thing you will miss out on opportunities and 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 all the the good shit that comes in your life because a lot of times like i said it comes in ways you you wouldn't even expect you might be asking for money but you'll get something that isn't money but when you actually sit back and look at it for what it is it's equal or of greater value than what money would have been or it's more it can be more suited to like fit your circumstances situation. So it might not be money, but it, it might just be something that aligns you or leads you to getting that check that you wanted. Right. So it's like that. That's where the wisdom kicks in. You have to know kind of how to go about it. And it, it can only come to you in your own way. So there's only so much I could really say about this kind of what, what I'm talking about right here. You know what I'm saying? So but, you know, so you or you got to just. You know, we got to let go of control sometimes. The only thing we can control is our reactions and our, our mind state, our emotions and feelings. That's the only thing we can do. We can um, create our thoughts and feelings. It's the only thing we can do. You know what I'm saying? That's where your power is. You're, you can't control things. You know what I'm saying? You can't control everything, but you can control your own thoughts and feelings that you create and, and control your path and cre control your spaceship. You know what I'm saying? That's all you need. People be thinking they need... To control everything, their relationships, other people, this, that, and the third. It's like, look, if you control your spaceship, 
you can, you, that's all you need. You know what I'm saying? So, 